Getting it figured out, bud? Oh, yeah. So does it pops up here. Can you figure it out, man? Oh, yeah. Wow, that's... That's my Did you put an EQ booster in that thing? There it is. Okay. <coughs> a couple mounts here. Can't see nothing. You just leave me in the dark. Uh-oh. Yeah. Give it a couple mounts here. Yeah. Let's go ahead and jump in. What's happening, everybody? Welcome back. <coughs> big Trouble's in the house. The Hoosier Big Boy 88. Big Daddy B65, and we are live early this morning with a special guest. Yes. And I'm excited about it. Stoked, man. Pump, yeah. right? Yeah. This is how we do. The the one and only A.J. Bradley's here. A.J. Bradley. The Thanks Nazi for coming. The yeah. Wrestling yeah. Coach. Hello. Hi, Thanks, Thanks for having me. Good I good appreciate it. Why? I, we see that you uh, doing lots of good things over there with them kids and and, and everything that you got going on at Muncie Central. Um, we we had got word that uh, Muncie Central was trying to raise some funds to help the kids and you know things to that nature. If you would talk a little bit about what you got going on and if anybody would like to reach out and donate to the wrestling club. Uh, yeah. Um well, I'm A.J. Bradley, and I'm a runner of the Muncie Wrestling Club, and we deal with the high school kids, we deal with the middle school kids, and we also deal with the elementary kids. And um, between those three groups, uh, we, you know, we have, you know, last year pre-COVID, you know, we were rocking 70 little kids, about 20, 30 middle school, then of course about our 20 high school, so we were wow. over 100 kids, you know, and wow. with COVID happening, you know, it kind of hurts. And uh, but it also hurts financially as well because all the little things we could do money wise, we're really trying to build this up uh, for all people. You know, we're doing a lot of good things this summer. Uh, we just had one of our middle school guys, Gabe Hardy, go and wrestle. We had him in a national tournament. We oh, got a couple awesome. of high school guys doing a lot of things. Yeah, we're doing some stuff this summer. Like it's building and it's finally getting where we want it to go. But like we all know, money. You know, it can be a detriment. People that think all wrestling, you just get out there, but like yeah. shoes and equipment and all, you know, cleaning and travel and everything like that. So, so hey, let's try to let's try to take some burden off of these kids Absolutely. because there's some kids who don't play sports in this area simply because finances. Right, right. right. And it's Absolutely. my goal to make it where anyone who wants to come do this, whether you're in preschool here in Muncie or a senior in Muncie, you can come do it. Like money's not. An option. That is You awesome. know, so we're really trying to go out and yeah. do some things this year. And I figured with this being a COVID year and we can't do the other stuff, let me try this fundraising stuff and get a hold of people and try this instead of just sitting on my thumbs. Right. Absolutely, Absolutely, man. Right. I mean, that's a, that's, that's, that's a, that's a hell of a deal. Yeah, yeah. that kid you got over there, that Jason Orr kid, he's tough. Uh, he, and, he, and the thing is, he's a great kid too. Yeah. Multi-sport athlete. He's at a big football combine today in Indianapolis. Oh, really? He got invited oh. to. Wow. Like, he's just a great kid from a great family. Plays awesome. multiple sports. That's good stuff, you know? man. Yeah, he's a wrestler though. Like, right. <laughs> <laughs> so, fans out there, if you want to reach out to AJ Bradley and the whole Muncie Central Wrestling Club, how can they get a hold of you, folks? Get to, to uh, uh, donate, you know, reach out to these guys because they do a wonderful thing for the kids. And we'll tag this on our web, uh, on our on our page. Yep. That way, you guys can revisit that too. So uh, we'll have him send that to us, and and, and we'll do that. But if, if we could... do have social media, like we're on uh, Facebook at Muncie Bearcat Wrestling. Okay. Okay. Uh, you can like send us messages there, and I can get stuff to you. Uh, we're on Twitter as well at uh, Muncie Wrestling. And I believe Instagram um, as well with those things. I'll make oh, sure all those updated and posted. Okay. Okay. Um, we do have a Venmo account that I like. I don't like just putting that out over there. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. then you kind of don't know right. what's going yeah, on. Yeah, right. But if people wanted to donate that way and they message us, I can send that to right. them and things like that. We, we appreciate everything. Right. And anything, you know, and the money goes, the money that we do have, it goes straight towards our kids. You know, like I said, we help out at the high school, the middle school and uh, the elementary stuff. So like the that schools awesome. at each school, they take care of like their things. But ours is more so, you know, little Timmy needs some shoes and right, mom can't right. get them. Right. We go. Or like we have a kid qualify for a national tournament in the summer and he needs, needs 500 travel. bucks. Right, right, right. Boom, we got it. Absolutely. You know, so this is stuff that the school, above what the schools can do. It's stuff right. that we do to help kind it all out. Independently. To right. be able to, yeah. That's, yeah. That, that's a great thing. There's a, there's a couple of us that are, that are, um, 
bleeding purple because we're Bearcat boys. <laughs> so uh, and that's I, all good. <laughs> it's all good, and I know you know we got a rebel in the house, but it's not about anything like that. It's no, all about no. these kids. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's about helping the community with these kids to have them an outlet and the equipment to do the things that they would like to do safely, right? Safely and formally, Monty Central Wrestling, right? So what we decided to do as Indiana Powerhouse Wrestling, IPW, is we talked with the head board. Uh, we figured out that we would like to make a donation oh. to the Muncie Central Wrestling Club in the we'll amount of five hundred dollars. Oh wow! So here we just and we wanted to bring you on live to oh. to bring that to you. Two, three, four, five, oh, and that's from our Check family it. to your family. Oh, thank you. Check man. it and make sure it's not. Uh, 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 it, it's, yeah. <laughs> make sure that ain't Mr. Big Bucks. Mr. Yeah. Big Bucks. Uh, sometimes he just have a representative. He slips ones in his. <laughs> yeah. It's real. Just, yeah. uh, and then we thank you. And with oh, the Muncie Wrestling welcome. Club, it's more than just wrestling. Because if we get these kids involved in something, that, and then they hopefully they fall in love with at a young age, then they know they have to do well in school to continue. So it helps in the classroom. It's an and incentive. It with their behavior. And it yes. keeps them off the streets. And it's just. That's right. More productive society, and that's what we're trying to get back to. Uh, so that right. works hand in hand with the Pit Bulls Powerhouse Training Center, yeah. Because we do this; that's our same I same, same model, thing. right? I work yep. with the parents work. for the little ones mm-hmm. that are underage or in school, and if they don't make the grade that the parents believe they should be making, they get to sit and watch everybody have fun. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So <laughs> we appreciate everything yes, sir. that you do. We know you're busy. We know you've you, you got <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you for you. everything Thank you. you do for the kids. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks Thank for you. coming by. Oh, and keep good. doing what you're doing, man. Yes, sir. Yeah. And thanks everybody at home. We appreciate it. Yeah. Thanks. Thank Absolutely. you. Have a safe trip. Have a great day. day. You too. Enjoy the show. Thanks. Thank you. So did you find your cat? You better stay away from me. Oh. Did you find your cat? Well, I'm, you I, I seen you. Did something. What I what I I've been looking for my cat for a while. Oh. You're jacking around. You had you had time j- jacking around, didn't you? Time? What, you why, my, why is it time what, and I? What, all of a sudden, I just asked you if you found your cat. Now, now you want to get all butt I'm telling you, time. You, you guys, you guys, you guys, sneaky birds. I, I, you know what? Hold up. Oh. What do you mean, hold up? Right, go ahead. Go ahead. Anyway, everybody, I, I've been looking for. My, everybody knows that you know. I, uh, yeah, I love my cat, man. His name's Furby. He's he's my dude. Good morning, Mama uh, Springman. Good morning, Mom. Lamada. Uh, Good morning, all. Carrie and, uh, Springman. My beautiful wife, thank you. Good James morning. Adams, what's happening? So, James. Tony Woods, the sound guy. Tony Woods and uh, second Captain command. Williams. Security's on here, too. I see oh, Tony T-Bone. Springman. T-Bone. T-Bone's in the house. My wife, April Coons. Hi, April. Sorry, folks. We, 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 we had a special guest. He's a busy man. We love everything that, that he does for, for the Monthly Central Bearcats Wrestling Program. And we just wanted to do something good for the community, you know, because um, everything they do is awesome right? for them kids. And we wanted to bring it to you guys uh, to, live. to uh, live to, to... I got something I want to yeah. bring to you. Oh, oh really? Check Seriously? this out. Hey, hey, remember your big fluffy kitty cat? Seriously, bro? I went and, uh, what did you do to my cat? I went and got him all shaved up, man. Now, what do you think about that, huh? What do you Look at this. You traumatized my cat. Look at it. No, he likes and it. That boy's Furby's. Furby. That boy's. See, you don't even know who I am now. Wow. What did you do, man? Did you. He's going to sit and take camera time, man, because he's a cheeser. But Furby and that boy's. Furby's and that boy's. Come, that boy's. See, you traumatized my cat, man. I don't know what you're talking about. I think he looks better. You know, wow. you're always talking about Maxwell's and you're always talking about Priscilla's going over there, you know, getting haircuts and stuff. So I took it upon myself. Come here, dad boys. Since Big Trouble always gets their haircut. Come here, dad boys. Oh, yeah, my boy. I went and shaved your cat. Oh, man, he shaved. He... Wow. And you didn't even... I thought the little poof would... I thought the little poof would... You just... didn't do a bad job, man. But what? Really, man? You took all of his hair off. This dude was a hippie haircat, man. <laughs> and now and now he looks like the the great white hope lion. I've been trying to tell you, bald's beautiful. Good God, he's serious, man. Wow. He, he, 
can, can we before he gets any closer to him, Red? Can, oh, can we can we can we get Furby back in the house? Can, can, see here, hold, hold on. You got You got to get him before he. Yeah, man. He's probably trauma. He's traumatized. Don't let him out of your. Don't let him. Come you got to get a good, nice wow. grip on him. Come here, baby. Oh, that cat's all right. Oh my god. He didn't drink it in shape. Oh my god. Come I here, cannot baby. believe. Wow. Wow. He's traumatized. He's traumatized, but wow. well, that's okay, buddy. Well, at least you got him back. I got him back, but your ass is mine. Because I was only suspended for one show being the commissioner. Uh oh. What could you possibly do worse than what you've already done to me already? I don't know. There's a lot of metal involved in mental madness. There's a lot of What's metal. What's that got to do with anything? You just might have to let me think on that for a Dude, I shaved your chat. I didn't eat it, okay? You jacked, and that's what I'm surprised about. You didn't eat it. Wow. That's crazy. But you shaved him like I, you were going to eat him. You know what? You guys got jokes. I, I thought this was a funny joke, okay? Maybe I crossed the line. I don't know. Gee, cross the line? Him? I, I think we need to have more conversations. We, we will head talk board. to the headboard about that. Headboard, if you're watching, you've got to pay attention. Oh, they're watching. You've got that. That's... Oh yeah, that's a lot not, not, gonna, <laughs> not gonna work. It's good. Not gonna, not gonna. Uh, that that won't be unnoticed. I'm just uh, glad my cat is back. Hey, mama, the the cat's back. Uh, right, probably traumatized, traumatized. Because wow. some jackass I did you a favor. Yeah, <laughs> wow. did him a favor. Probably cut him but, with a pair of Frisker scissors. Well, I'm glad. I'm glad your fur baby's back home. I mean, Gee. yeah, he's um, but. I don't see why everybody's we'll, so We'll pay some bills here real quick. He wants to be slick, though. I'll have to. I'll, I'll just have to get imaginary on him. We'll pay some bills real quick here. Uh, best way of Indiana, still picking up my trash. All day, every day. Corner to corner automotive. Car. Works hand in hand, like you say, with AJ Stowey. Corner to corner, street to street, road to road. AJ's will get you there and get you taken care of. Butler demo. Smashing and crashing. Demo, demo, demo season's right around the corner. Sums have already start. Maxwell's Barbershop. Get your hair <laughs> good, man. You know what I'm saying, kid? Like Furby. <laughs> I don't know if they... I've talked... So, so you're going to rename him the Furless? Uh, I'll start with just a question. It's just a question. Sir, and, and last but not least, Ricky Blacksmith. And folks, yep. we're going to unveil something here. Ricky Blacksmith has... Decided they're going to start doing monthly raffles at our shows for their awesome knives. And as you can see here, so, so they'll, one Sue Music one last yep. month. <laughs> this is a different one. Same people, same place. Made it. Uh, beautiful blades. I'll let Brent go back to elaborating on that because he knows all about them people they, over there. They said that they had a, almost 100 hours into making that knife. It is a burl handle. Um, a lot of quality in this knife. Um, but you get your tickets at, at the show for uh, May Mental Madness. They'll be $5 a piece or 5 for $20. And you'll win that beautiful knife. They made that knife right there for us, too. So, with that being said, let's talk a little bit about May Mental Madness. The cage, man. The cage itself is just, Ooh. wow. The cage. Yeah. The cage. So I'm really, really thinking. Less than two weeks. About the cage. Yeah. Less than two weeks. Two weeks from yesterday, man. Was it from yesterday? From yesterday. I don't really think about it quite that way. I just read. Really but this is going to go down on May 15th, 2021. The doors open like always at 6 o'clock. Bell time sharply at 7. No timeouts. Um, but anyway, that's at the Delaware County Fairgrounds, our home. Did you say no timeouts? No timeouts. No timeouts, man. It's Just be there just in time. Yeah, just in time. But anyway, that's always in the Memorial Building, folks. And let's talk about this car. We have not one but two sons of legends coming to this show. Bobo Brazil Jr., and also Dick the Bruiser Jr. Two yeah. sons, folks, of legends. That's a show in itself. Well, it is old school feel, new school thrill. 
and starting with the Sons of Legends, Boba Brazil Jr., Dick the Bruiser Jr. Love those guys. Kids love those guys. Oh, those yeah. guys are great, great guys. And Dick so, the Bruiser, yeah. yeah, man, he gets some kids up in the ring and they, they dance to well, Who Let the Dogs Up? Do you want a hug or something? <laughs> I know you guys are getting a thrill out of out of popping Bobo Brazil Jr. and Dick the Bruiser Jr. I know you're excited about it. Yeah, I just should be. But let's talk about the real deal at hand. Just in time. We have no other no one other than the Taskmaster Kevin Solomon. Kevin Solomon coming. We're talking about that wow. with. And your Anderson. So, so that's what the headboard was. All these conference calls, all these emails that's been going on all week with the headboard. Sorry, man, I already knew about it. <laughs> Dang. Kevin that, Sullivan. And he's going to be in the house at Main Middle Madness at the Delaware County Fairgrounds. Man, this car the is, house. You know, the headboard was talking to us and they were saying, yeah. You guys don't realize how big this card's really going to be. Wow. Let's yeah. talk a little more about who's going to be in the house that night. Our Four Corners champion. Malice. Malice. Defending his title. We've got Tenshi coming in. Tenshi again. She's... You like that, don't you? That looks, that's cool. Yeah, it's like Japanese aerobics. Yeah, so. but not to mention Shayla Hyde, our lady. It's probably a champion. form of karate. Not not. Is it karate? Yeah, it probably yeah. is, or, or some long time kind of listener, first time caller, Mister Obvious over here. I just wanted to, you know, plug that. But out. our women's champion, Shayla Hyde. Like you Hyde. know anything about cardio she, or any kind of god dang stretching? Hey, the only hey, I do know the first part of that car. Carbs. Yeah, yeah. You get plenty of those, don't you? Yes, but sir. In, in, anyhow, our ladies champion, Sheila Hyde, will be in the house to defend it. To defend that gold. Yeah. We also got custom made, our tag team champions, in the house defending that gold, made. baby. And, you want to tell them who against? Yeah, give me a minute. Against Southern There's Discomfort. Southern Discomfort. <laughs> Coming to IPW. Wow. And you don't you really have to down. Google too far. And of course, Pitbull's going to be there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Everybody knows uh, that. I mean, I mean that might just take the night off. All right. Night off? Mm, I bet you got something to say about that. That ain't going to work. That is not going to work. <clears throat> Especially after you did... But you just pulled off today on a Sunday morning with my kitty cat, man. Hey, man. So, I know you're real good friends with uh, Kyle Blanchard. Ooh, yeah, man. yeah, that's 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 So, I'll tell you something. Might as well just go in. I heard attorney right. time. Uh, yeah, yeah, well, we got got and he said that you guys were going to get a phone call. And yeah, we got Mr. a phone Big call. Too, at that. So, we talked to Mr. Big Bucks. Yeah, the Blanchards demanded so the management. the Blanchards downplayed the management thing. The management thing. Yeah. Well, let me tell you something, Blanchards. Hope you're management listening. is about to speak. The head so, board. while last show you got that lump on your head and went home and had some sweet dreams on one side of your head, you asked for it, <laughs> you got, you got it. it. Steel Cage, I hope you have sweet dreams the night before because you are going up against the living nightmare Woo. in a steel cage. Kyle, get out of that. Call my attorney. And you're done. Call my attorney, Kyle. So with that being Trevor, said, call the attorney. be careful, son. What you who asking? you are derogatorily downgrading or anything like that because... We can put you in situations that might be feeling kind of uncomfortable. Call Mr. Time. <laughs> Time out. But anyway, our heavyweight champion, you know about that. Right. Yeah. Scarecrow will be in the house. <laughs> to no, defend that gold. 
I was screwed. I was double teamed. And he knows, both of you know he was a cheat that night. Cornfield Mafia come out and had to put me down. I went and got popcorn, man. That popcorn is good. I went and got popcorn. I didn't. I had a night off, bro. I, I, I'm just being honest. I had a night off and went and got popcorn. I'm I sure you went and got popcorn. I went and got popcorn. Yeah. Fried a couple hot Extra dogs. Extra butter. Yeah. Hot dog, the hot dogs are, 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 man, I tell you, we make fire hot dogs, dude. I have no idea. Not, not to mention. Our, our new enforcer, Split Rail. You know about that, don't you? You know that song, Time is on Your Side? <laughs> well, they need to make a new one that says... You know what, I'm not worried Beef about... Beef is you. on our side. I'm not worried about your baloney neck, big, monstrous-looking goofball that you brought to the ring. I wasn't scared of him then. I'm not scared of him now. He had to come in and cheap shot me, screw me out of my title because he wants to be affiliated with Scarecrow with this cornfield mafia crap. So I got something to say to you, big boy. Next time I get my eyes on you, I'm coming for you. You will go to sleep. Wow. Oh, Cousin Cooter, all about that. He put you're part of Cornfield Mafia too. Just know your ass is on check. Whoa. Scarecrow, long ways from over, coming for you. I'm gonna knock the paint off your face. You watch and see. He, he just got three promos in 30 seconds. Wow. I know all about going to sleep. He put me to sleep, but yeah, I know all about that. Put you to sleep. Yeah. You don't remember that? Well, I tell you what. I don't man, know where you sleep guys sleep. found this big gargantuan. I, I mean, I thought you guys were big. I thought you guys were big, okay? This guy's like as wide as a truck. We found him on the wrong side of the tracks. Yep. I'll tell you that much. And and then who who was the guy that was in the middle of the ring there at the end? Who who was that guy that the mask flew off? And Who's the mask man? Who was that? Bradley Cage. Bradley Cage. <laughs> he come out of the dark. Oh, he never. He never put a finger on me. I don't have a problem with Bradley. You don't have a problem. With him. No, no. He come in there and he speared Scarecrow. I mean, what's that got to do with me? It's called mental madness for a reason. May fifteenth, Delaware County Fairgrounds. Oh, you mean it's mental madness? What? Be there. You're going to see some crazy things. It's going to twist your mind a little bit because that's just what we do. Doors open mm -hmm. at 6. Bell time at 7. I'm feeling a little crazy today myself. Huh, that's crazy. what we do. That's how we do it. We keep it real, don't we? Always keep it real. Yeah. Safe but real. Make sure you get your tickets, folks. $10 general admission. The headboard added general admission tables, and they're already gone. We have four. They're just, they're gone. Get out of here. Kick. So all we got left is general admission. Is it dollars a piece? And with that being said, I, I, uh, we I think we should address this because we do care about the community and and care for their safety. We are still going to follow the COVID nineteen guidelines yes. and, and social distancing and yes. mask mandates. Yep. Even though that has been lifted, correct? Right. Correct. Yes. But I did see, speaking of that, when the big when the big split rail came out, you took that one step further. It was like a twelve foot distancing. <laughs> well, you just got a Mountain message. Mountain Love took twelve foot distance. <laughs> you just got a message, Mister Pitbull. You just got didn't a have much to say when you were laying on your back. <laughs> Who said that? Split rail. Let me tell you something, you big pile of garbage. Oh, best way. Yeah, no pun intended. I'll have AJ's towing come get your big ass, tow you to the best way so they can take your trash ass out somewhere else and dig you deep, bury you where you need to be. This is getting hot, man. Wow. Punk, you don't know the shit you've started. <laughs> That's a big guy, It's getting hot in here. I don't care how big he is. The bigger they are, the harder they fall. I take a resemblance. I, 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 because i got to say something for the big know, guy. It's true. Me. If I fall, 
you hear a boom. If you fall, you hear a god. You, you hear a, a, a yeah. yeah I did that. Did, yeah. Yeah, I got that. I got in trouble for that. Yeah, I didn't say it. I know, but I did. I didn't say it. The Edward's watching. Earthquake. Yeah, baby Jesus. Earthquake. You better get get on the phone. Better pray for all the kids in New Guinea. Jesus. Time out. Dear baby Just say Jesus. <laughs> but I tell you what, being from a big guy, they might say the bigger they are, the harder they fall. Yeah. But you got to make us big guys fall first, Jack. Well, and believe me, the only thing I, we do is we fall in love and we fall for food, baby. And if you ain't bringing love and you ain't bringing food, and I don't mean doctor love, and I don't mean hot dogs in a handshake, I mean real food and real love, you're going to have a tough time making any big guy fall, especially that big old split rail, because he, he's had a lot of love and a lot of food, just like us. <laughs> so keep in mind, he looks like I'm attached to one of you guys walking around. Are you kidding me? I agree. He, he did what he yeah. was supposed to do, though, didn't he? He looks I, like he's a, a human being. He probably has. But 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 anyway, we all have the anyhow, same talking about going to sleep, I, I know that firsthand. As everybody saw on live, yeah, we had our time, and oh, it's not over yet. Yeah, you, yeah, you're damn right. It's not. You just got bigger problems right now. But anyway, you start coughing. I know something's funny right. because you're choking on a fur ball. Piece but of, anyway, piece of cake. get your tickets, folks. Ten dollars general admission. We ha we got five ticket outlets now, brother. Do you? Five. Do you really? I'm working hard, man. You are. You're pushing. Razor's Edge, like Razor. always, Priscilla. Her and her ladies are awesome over there, man. You know, ladies can go in there if they need to get their hair did, colored. Oh, colored. that's what I should have did for Furby. I should have colored him. Pink. Oh, 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 oh. Man. Corner to corner automotive and Anderson. Go see Joe and all his guys over there. They, they've been working on my truck, man. They do phenomenal. Well, now, you want the mental madness to start? It started. You're right. It has started. You shot first. Wow. As a man said a long time ago. You shouldn't throw rocks at a guy with a machine gun. No, I think I that goes... I don't know the rights to that. I think that goes, uh... You shouldn't throw rocks if you live in a glass house. House ain't glass. Because I'll break your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it's getting hot in here. Maxwell's Barber Shop where Josh gets his hair did. So who's your big uh, boy? Uh, yeah, yeah, where I get my hair did. <laughs> One stop bargain shop and auction. Gary Stevenson <laughs> runs an auction every Friday night. Check him out. 4500 West Garber. He has tickets. And our new, as you like to say, new ticket outlet. Save on Liquors. Yes. Parker City, Indiana. And new. Yeah, that. That. <laughs> But anyway, just saying. Hair they will. Furby. We're talking about this damn my cat, man. I think we need to have a conversation with the headboard. But anyway, <laughs> he's lucky he's got a bruise right now. You gonna get but that headboard now? Anyway, <laughs> save on liquors, folks. We'll have their tickets tomorrow. We're gonna have them flyers tomorrow. Speaking of which, Pitbull's Powerhouse Training Center. Reach out to Rodney Filtering. Can't you train your safe. Is that weird? Did you fart? I mean, you guys didn't even pop the three monsters. We ain't done. Out there. We ain't done. You sound like you're wrapping up. No, no we're yeah. not wrapping up. This ain't a Tupac we're, video. We're just covering all of our bases. I wish your parents would have. But anyhow, <laughs> like you said, we'll, we'll just go ahead and get into it. The main event that night, main mental madness. It's a three-way dance, folks, in a steel cage, eight foot tall. Often imitated, never duplicated. Three big guys. Calvin Tateman. Kong the Kong. And last but not least, Shogun. In, the in a steel cage. And in a steel cage. And as you heard, Kyle Blanchard, you got your wish. You're going to be in a steel cage with that living nightmare. So no more like that. complaints like that. about we don't know who our, com our opponents are. Come on, guys. <laughs> now you know. Two weeks in advance. 
So I don't know. No, you did, you guys didn't even give the man two weeks. Ramada? It was two weeks as of yesterday. Okay, because so, I keep it real. You don't know who you're going to face yet either. Hey, you know, it doesn't matter. I do what I want, when I want, how I want, and where in the hell I want to do it. Here we go. He does. He does I, do I, that. I knew that was coming. But he'll do it in the confines of what the commissioner puts on him. <laughs> you know, there was once I was told I was banned from a building. You was. You was banned from a building. But you guys were welcome. Yeah. Uh, that was, this is a true story. But you and you and you went and had some beers. I think I went and had some beers. You did have some I beers. Did, you had some beers. I love it. Because I, I do what I want, and I like to drink beer. And you know what? I have to say this, honest to God. And you know what? Damn, that didn't happen to no red chair neither. Then I will say this. Damn, <laughs> damn, he always does it like that. Always do it like that. That's that's a that's I'm speechless. I, 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 I'm he speechless. always he always does it like that. Um, yeah. So, but anyhow, we had it. If, if you got that dream. Small type to big type, I say week in and week out. Be a wrestler, a referee, uh, a ballet, manager. I, I'm just you guys just got me all speech. Everything. But anyway, re reach out to Rodney Filtering on Facebook, Pitbull's Powerhouse Trading Center. His number one thing, even though he is what he is, his number one thing is safety. Period. And you're gonna have fun when you go out there. Yeah. I you know, I hey, I personally have to stay away from there because the antics that he pulls. Uh last time I was out there he did let all the air out of all four of my tires. I knew it was him because we watched the film because we have cameras out there. That guy looked like and me, all I, I seen me. was a used Q tip running around my freaking car. Just the top of the head. That's pretty cool tattoos on his arms. <laughs> but Speaking of which, next Sunday, folks, is Mother's Day. Squinting to see the vows. We, we've got to talk with the headboard, but watch, watch the page. Invite all your friends. Tell them to give us thumbs up. Follow us. But we will make an announcement uh, if we're going to run on Sunday or not. Uh, if we're going to switch it to Saturday, would that be a Mother's Day? You know, we we, we got to talk with the headboard, but. This show, uh, folks, I, I can't stress it enough. I'll tell you what, that, that, the main event itself is worth... I mean, this, this, this is be honest. Let's just be honest. If we broke down every match that we're going to have that night, wow. each and every one of those matches are main event worthy. Yeah. So that's how we roll. We don't give these dead spots or these goofy little... You know, we're not doing that. You're going to get... Crowd satisfaction every time the bell rings. Period. From the announcer to the ladies selling hot dogs, it's fun, full, fun filled, full of excitement the whole night long. Whether we run a little long or we come a little short, we're going to run probably a little long, <laughs> if you dig what I mean. No pun intended. Still cage matches. Intermission on. Be okay. Calm down, Big Daddy. I'm fired up. Calm down. Where, where's the uh, Where's Mr. Big Bucks? Mr. Big Bucks is taking care of some business for us. Yep. Because we kind of figured we got a little bit Jaw was still jacked up from you know and being he, in the way. He has been texting a lot. He has not been calling a whole lot, so I don't know with that. Um, he did say he had a dental appointment uh, yesterday in a text. So that normally happens when you get busted in the mouth with some yeah. brass knuckles. Well, imagine that, huh? I, I, I think as tough as you are, you wouldn't need brass knucks. Yeah, but, but you know, I'm just you know just saying, or j hijacking yeah. kitty cats. You don't get it. I do what I want, when I want, it's, where I want. It's pretty obvious. And however I want to do it, it's pretty obvious. I don't know how you got I, I, I think that almost sounds like a broken record, man. We hear that all the time. <laughs> well, the it's, it's even actually, when we're on the conference calls with the headboard, and the headboard sometimes has to tell him, look, we're the boss here, not you. He don't like that either, and he still tells them, I do what I want. When I, yeah, all and then you hear that big slurp, you know what's going on there. Yeah. Uh, Drinking that bar. No, man, that didn't sound right. <laughs> it's a beer drinking slurp. <laughs> Folks, get your tickets. That's all I can say. Yeah, cat here. We're gonna have fun. 
<laughs> that was because whoever you hired to shave my cat or cut my cat, it made him made him look. What makes you think I hired somebody? Oh, you made him famous. Yeah, that's all you did. Don't be mad. Oh, oh I oh. shaved your cat. I didn't need it. Okay. What's this? A everybody keeps asking about this wrestling Jesus. <laughs> I almost forgot about him. Um, wrestling Jesus. Yeah, it's the guy that come in at the end. Is of, that his uh, name? I, I don't know his name. I, that's just what the fans are calling. We, we, we tried. I tried to track him down. I even had the headboard try to track him down to get his ass in here so we could talk to him. You know what they told me? They said the guy don't talk. This one. He don't say nothing. He just makes funny noises. Whoa, hey man. What he, uh, with what he's been doing with cutting and stuff. But oh, okay. Yeah, I'm, the I'm wrestling right. Jesus. We don't know his name. We don't know nothing about him. We Listen, don't know. I don't know if that's from. his name or not, and I don't. No. I don't know. But that's why we do have uh, when when he shows up or sneaks in the building or whatever, uh, which. Somehow it's pretty, it's pretty it's dead gum hard. Yeah. It's pretty dead gum hard to sneak in our. Maybe he lives there. Hangs out in the maintenance room. Do you know anything there. about that? Mr. The guy's Pippen? weird, man. The guy's weird. I don't know him. The guy's weird. Well, I, I, I know the headboard was strange talking. Strange individual. Is, uh -huh. is this isn't official yet, folks. Hopefully by next Sunday or Saturday, depending on what happens, we got an official answer from the headboard. But the headboard was talking about in that one conference call. They're talking about letting Luke Savage have some revenge on whoever this guy is, man. For him uh, coming in after his son, Luke Luke's finally won because cheating the win didn't help him cheat the win. You know, we're the big dumb couple or whatever. But big, big what? Yeah, that's what he said. Don't love. He uh, called us the big dumb couple. Or well, he, 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 yeah. Anyway. So I, 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 I yeah, that's, that's. So Mr. Cool. Mysterious Guy, if you're watching. When the headboard calls you, or when a big trouble calls you, answer the phone, man. At least say hello. Don't moan and, and make funny noises. Moan and make funny noises? Yeah. I, Who's calling That's you? what the headboard said when they oh, called him. Oh, oh, call the headboard doing that? Yeah. That'll get you a contract real quick. Yeah. But anyway, May Metal Madness. I'm, I, I, it's, it's, <laughs> oh, my God. Now I feel like a broken record almost. You guys that's came to our shows, you've seen that we don't play. Right? Even so I'm don't telling don't you right now, I, 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 it's almost self-explanatory now. So when you have Calvin Tankman, Shogun, the Kong, monster Kong, 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 all that beef, all that in everything a in a cage, steel cage. Wow. I'm telling you right now, it's uh, it that by itself. Early, you want to get her done. So yeah, okay, we'll touch on a little bit of that. So there's no early raffle ticket sales for the knife. We do it at the show. the show. So from the time you walk into the door, you'll be able to purchase raffle tickets separately from your concession tickets. Yep. So they are five dollars a piece, or five for 20. or five for twenty. Get a little break. That buy, nice. Get a little nice. break. That's that's well worth. Nice blade. Susie Music loves her knife. Yep, she took it home to Donnie, man. Took it home to Donnie. Speaking of which, folks, thoughts and prayers for Donnie Music. There, there is so many right now in the community that needs you to hold them high in your thoughts and prayers. One of them, of course, being Donnie Music. Uh, Big Phil. You know, he, he, he's got a long road ahead of him, folks. He's kicked out, but the yeah. match ain't over. Right. So hold, keep holding him high in your thoughts and prayers. Our own Andy Shane, he's doing great. He, he's on that road to recovery, but keep praying for him. And that guy's an ox. Yeah, man. He's an ox. Yeah, just so, don't so, get so, so not to cut that short, but back to the show. So Kevin Sullivan will have an autograph signing table yep and you'll be able to purchase autograph uh pictures of him uh maybe take selfies with him i don't know the headboard doesn't give us all the full descriptions they just said that he will he will be he signing will be autographs and he will be doing doing uh doing that so and that's all that, we that's, really know that's all i really know with that so it, they did they did say andrew anderson was uh going to wrestle though right yeah oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. so yeah. uh 
his yeah. brother had a heart attack. And you never, you never know. For, and and, and well, also with that, own cold justice. Cold, cold, cold justice. justice and his family high too. They're going through some tough. Let's face it, folks. We're 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 seeing the end of the tunnel of this pandemic. We're not there yet, but we're seeing the end of it. But like like Mr. Pitbull said, we will be practicing social distancing. If you're in a common area, please, folks, mask up. That, that is for your safety, and that's for everybody else's safety around you. And we're getting better yes. about picking our trash up, too. Yes. We appreciate that. Really, guys do really appreciate that. That's and our just, cleaning staff really appreciate yeah, yeah, that. Yeah, because that, that's just home, that's just home manners yeah. there, man. I mean, you might you buy a ticket to the show, but, yeah, yeah, I mean, you know, that, that didn't right. really necessarily include a Mary Maid. Uh, just saying, we appreciate that. Now, all of our fans are great anyway. I mean, they've uh, they did a uh, rock star job with support and uh, having fun. They've they've all enjoyed it. Man, I tell you, the last show ran a little long, and we still had people standing on their feet. Just it was just it that, was, made, it, event it, that was made event was crazy. crazy man. So the Pitbull and Scarecrow, they were all over the building. It was yeah. a cheat. And and I, honestly, <laughs> honestly, he, he 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 actually for once got a seat. Upside yeah. his head. <laughs> think that's funny? No, I think it's damn hilarious after what you did today. Yeah. <laughs> but anyhow, folks, reach out to the ticket outlets. Get your tickets. This show is going to be crazy. Prayers to Tony's wife. Oh, oh. I, and and, and I, I was, was going to do this there. One of our own, right? So um, my brother Tony, uh, second in command of security. His uh, his wife's going going through a going through a surgery coming up Monday, and uh, please hold her high. Please hold her high, and 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 prayers go, uh, going out to her, man, because we're going to be thinking about her all day. And she's Monday, one of so. our own too. She's one of our own. She works she works her butt off at the show too. Um, yeah. With you know merch and concessions, all them ladies back there, man. They're they're it's 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 like a sisterhood, right? Yeah. So if you know what I mean, they click right yeah. from the tickets. From the front door all the way to the concessions and merch, they all click, and we can't say that we don't appreciate them enough because we do. And when one of them has has an issue, uh, it's family. We all join together with that. So I love you, Bev. We love you, Bev. And yeah. uh, we, we definitely yeah. are, are, are. Got you in our thoughts. Terry, uh, our comments is a great Facebook. you got to love it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm at, yeah, we're, we're, we're having some, some, uh, some, some goofy. Yeah. Uh, Yes, uh, very badass card lined up for the next show. Yes, um, and and sorry guys, we uh, we're not we're not being able to. It's just yeah. the way it is. Yeah, the the knife is the knife is crazy, Josh. Uh, it is awesome. Uh, Scarecrow. Oh, doing what he wants cost him the heavyweight championship. No, the blank. Yes, we love you, Beverly. Cornfield no. Mafia is what cost me my championship. My so we, we, we're, we're going live right there. Oh, we got our, yeah. So Pitbull. Amada. Oh, oh, man. Well, that that's that, a, that's... that brings me, before we get out of here, at this show, I, I forgot. We, the headboard wanted us to do it, and they kind of smacked me on the hand. We forgot. We are going to be giving away a dinner with Big Trouble at this next show. I think. The way I understand it. We're going to share some food? I guess. That, that's what the headboard was telling us. You were on that call, bro. They I was were eating, dude. Oh, well, well. Every time they're phone? on the phone, all I, every time they're on the phone, I put them on speaker. All you about food with these guys. You got to eat to live. But anyway. It's like you ate me. Thanks. <laughs> anyway. Well, well why is it just because you guys are the brown nosers of the bunch? You guys get to go out and, and have a nice dinner, and I'm not invited. Have, have your, uh, what's the time out or whatever. Wait have them to handle that. Wait a minute. We, we didn't have no time. Time is out. of the essence. We enjoy our food. <laughs> we don't need a bad taste in our mouth. Mm. <laughs> James Wilson, clear from Well, West I'm sure Virginia. wherever you guys are going, What's up, bro? I'm going to have some pretty decent food, but I'd probably just drink their beer anyway. Well, I don't know. We're, 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 yeah, you probably would. So we're, we're going to see about this 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 kind of, uh, I don't know, uh, uh, that, 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 big, that, trouble, big Trouble Dinner with Big Trouble giveaway. Yeah. 
Uh, we'll know more about it hopefully by the. But that's the an next idea, that's something that really is uh, in the, in the works. Yep. Uh, for all that, so if, if you guys want to, uh, so you guys, let me get, let me. You guys are gonna pick someone out of the May show to go have dinner with you guys. I. That's exactly what we're gonna do. Is it a buffet? Uh, I don't know yet. And they're buying, right? I hope. Yeah, is, is the, the headboard head buying? The headboard's, no, headboard's, buying. headboard's, headboard's buying. buying. Yeah, what the heck? <laughs> this is just a, this is just to show our appreciation yes. to some lucky fan. So some snot nosed brat gets to go out and eat with if he gets any food after you guys eat. I'm gonna buy the pot. You two, and I'm not invited. Absolutely. I, I, I'm just. Oh, wow. I can't I, even come to drink beer with. Ha, have your time out, Cole. What if it's a. I mean, it, what if they're not of age to drink beer? I can drink beer. I think and they, they drink root beer? Yeah. And I can make fun of you two goofballs all night. I think they don't think they have a problem with that now. They were afraid of the police or. Oh. Uh, no, but um, I think he's on a nutty butter diet <laughs> after butter. last night. Um, but anyway, we folks, talk about that. <laughs> get your tickets. I, I can't stress it enough. This show is going to be what do they say? Phenomenal, phenomenal. Hey, no pun intended. No pun. Off the chain. Off the chain. Off the cage. Off the hook. I'm back. Commissioner, we're going to get excited this next show. Because they're going to be a lot of mental surprises. Hmm. And hey, don't get me wrong. When they said they were going to do a brain check on the Hoosier Big Boy, it wasn't going to take them very long because there ain't a whole lot there. But what is there is going to make a lot of sense and it's going to make a lot of people think even deeper into their self when it comes at mental madness. So whether you come there to see Big Trouble, you come to see Pitbull do his chugga-lugga, whatever, whether you do that, come out and have a great time, fun time with us. That's what we're doing, having fun. Somebody said they were going to go have some beers with Pitbull. They'd probably do that. So, yeah. You know, that. Uh, <laughs> I did that. You did that. I might do it again. You know, who knows, man? We might even... We might even want. We might even have have the champ come with us on that dinner. Wait, what's going on with you, man? All right, good. You need what? You need some medicine? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The ears, bro. Somebody talking about you? I don't know. Probably the headboard. We'll probably get off here, and they're gonna probably. Man, yeah. you guys ran too long on the line. I, I, I bet they're going. Yeah. Yeah. I hope you guys get fined. Hmm. Fine. They're getting ready to pay for us a deal, a, a dinner, or somebody is. Yeah. Headboard. We might even have to take it out of his bag. You're taking it out of my pay. We're going to cut into his beer. Beer money. Bear. Bear money. Bear money. Bear money. Anyhow, folks, get your tickets. We went long today, but we had a special guest with the Central right. Wrestling Club. Make sure you reach out to them. They do a wonderful thing for these kids. That's why IPW did what they, they did. And, you know, but get your tickets. We went long. We, we better get out of here, man. We do that. Yeah, story. I mean, we talk about food and talk about, but anyway. Hey, maybe we'll have a food episode sometime on the YouTube channel of Smile and Charlie's. Maybe we'll have just... We didn't touch on that. You, you know, maybe, maybe we the pie eating contest yeah. on Smile and Charlie's. Yeah, I forgot. Smile and Charlie's at gmail.com. He has a YouTube channel. Big Trouble's over there. Right, man, there's a whole list. He's doing this drive home thing. You have to keep watching because yep. we're going to start using that for the platform of giveaways. Yep. Mr. Smiley Burris. Mr. Mr. Smiley Burris. You too. You too. We'll have the pie eating contest. We can do the pie hey, eating contest. what are you contest. doing? We'll, we'll do a pie, pie eating contest, I, I guess. I don't, I don't know what he's doing. I do what I want. I don't know what he's doing. When I want. I have no idea what he's doing. Did Where you know? I want, how I want. Yeah, I don't We're know. We're live here, man. Uh, I'm lively smoking this cigarette, too. 